Hi everyone, um, I wanted to give you guys a garden update uh, since I am in here um, currently picking stuff. So, let's just get started. Here are my cucumbers. Um, now, I honestly, like, I don't remember where all I planted stuff and how much I planted. I was keeping track and then I just kind of went crazy, but of course, I know that these are cucumbers and I've already picked some off of them. They are doing great. Um, I'm going to be picking my green beans last, um, but these are the French green beans and they're all doing well. This is my patty pan squash and you can see there's one in there. I've picked uh, two off of this so far. And then we have squash, which I am still waiting. There's a little squash there. There's tons of, there's a little squash there too. There's tons of blooms. There's tons of blooms on this and a couple other little ones. I have gotten zucchinis though. I don't know if I have any. I have a small zucchini there. Uh, but I've gotten a few zucchinis. I've gotten a few big zucchinis too. They kind of sneak up on you. You don't realize you have them. I'm not seeing any today. Uh, let's see. Yep, baby zucchinis. And then these are my eggplant. My uh, dad keeps, uh, putting stuff on them to keep the bugs off, but they're, they're not doing anything. And then I think these two are cucumbers as well. More Boston, yeah. These are more Boston pickling cucumbers, but I don't know if they're going to do anything or not. They're flowering, but they were planted a little later. And then... I have all these, and they're different winter squashes. Um, again, they're flowering. Well, some of them are flowering, but I don't know if they're actually going to do anything. Because if you remember in one of my other videos, this is actually a zucchini. And there's a baby zucchini. Something has been messing with it. But there's, there's a baby. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my other update nothing of my winter squash had done anything so I had to replant well replanting things grew but um, I don't know if they're gonna do anything I will say down here my pumpkin it's vining off and it looks like it may do something and I lost my uh, my cantaloupe and my um, watermelon. Those did not make it. And over here, I have my new row of green beans. They're growing and they look like they're doing good. Um, I have, oop, I'm in here barefoot. I have onions right here. They're all doing well. Um, I planted carrots all here. Um, and I can't see them. I can't see if they're growing. I marked it, but essentially how we manage the garden is um, we take a small tiller and we till through the rows. But um, if my dad can't see where my rows are or if um, there's not enough space, then he won't do it and we gotta go in. Well, I say I, or we, but I have to go in and hand weed my own um, rows, which is of course fair, because I can't do a straight line, but they're supposedly, um, carrots, maybe, I'm trying to grow carrots, but they may be in there. Onward, garlic, still doing well, um, my okra is doing excellent, I am planning on freezing, pickling, and, um, eating fresh, but you can see they're, they're doing great. I am super excited. I love okra. Love, love, love it. Now, ooh, I have some Romas that I can pick. 
um, all my tomato plants except for this sad looking one and it still produced fruit but um, yeah it's not gonna make it and then I have tons of jalapenos I'm seeing now that I'm gonna be able to pick and cayenne and I'll just walk you through um, look big big tomatoes those are my beef steaks um, my bell pepper plants they're all doing well and then I'll go ahead and show you over here <laughs> are my sad green beans well the ones over there that are doing good those two rows those are my dad's but mine are few and far between right here and that is just nothing but weeds there are no green beans in that I just need to pull all those um oh I see a red one and there's more red tomato bunch of green ones I'm so excited to uh can all of this up but that is the first order of business was my garden um the second order of business is the chickens so let's go visit them i've already gotten three eggs from them uh, when i first got down here um but i wanted to give you a quick update on them i do not have chicks and i do not have chicks because um of a few reasons one my barred rock which was the uh, the good mama hen she actually died um, we think a fox got in and go ahead and show you what we did a fox actually and you can kind of see where something's trying to dig again but a fox uh, we're assuming dug up underneath and so now we have all this well they started there and so we reinforced that because what my dad did when he built it is he actually dug a trench and buried the chicken wire because we knew we had, um, well, we knew we had predators, but something tried to get in there. So we reinforced that and then something did get in here and got in the coop and killed um, the mom, but did not take any eggs and didn't hurt any of the other chickens just the one and my guess is because she she never moved from her nest she did not move from her nest so that is what i think happened there i do have a still broody hen my uh, buff orphington right there and uh you see her fluff her butt up but she uh she was still sitting on eggs, so I let her sit on them. Oh, and the one mom died literally during lockdown. Like, that's when she died, <laughs> was during lockdown. So all those eggs were um, unviable because I don't have my brooder anymore, or incubator anymore. And I w don't think they would have done well anyway just because it was during lockdown. But she was gone and then so I let her lay on eggs sit on eggs um, but one hatched one hatched but it did not survive none of the others did anything so now I'm down a hen no chicks and I have a broody mama that's wanting eggs but I keep having to steal them from her to try and get her out of that because until I can live with my chickens I don't want to do uh, I don't want to do chicks anymore I thought it would be fine and technically it would have been but it just I'm not gonna do it again until till that but anywho that's why I don't have chicks um, and I have one less hen and she was a good layer too so I'm only getting about three eggs a day now instead of of course five or six but I am gonna get more chickens I'm just not gonna get them until we're actually living with my chickens because I want to be able to watch them all the time all the time but uh, oh I did get a vent put in though and that was nice um, 
sorry, I heard something down the driveway. But I have a vent in there um, to air it out better. We do keep one of the doors open, but um, it's enclosed. So, yeah. There's a, there was a wasp right by my phone. Um, anyway, so that's what's been going on. That's my garden update and my chicken update. Um, I have videos that are going to be coming out. I had four blueberry videos that I'm going to try to go pick more blueberries and redo. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I got a ton of blueberries that I picked from a local farm. I made blueberry preserves, lemon blueberry jam, uh, blueberry jalapeno jam, and then I made... Uh, loud. I made a blueberry coffee cake that was to die for and even though I know I recorded it, none of it's on my SD card. None of it. None of it. Uh, so, you don't get any of those recipes, but I'm going to try to go down um, in about two weeks and pick more blueberries and hopefully make more jam because I do need to make more. I need a year supply. Uh, but yeah, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know how your garden's doing if you have a garden. Also, one last thing. I would like to know, inquiring minds want to know, this is what some of my cucumbers are doing. Like some of them look like this, like normal cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Normal cucumber. And then I have some that look like this. Like they start off huge. And like I just try to find the one that's still growing. Because so I didn't pick it yet. Mm, where are you? Right there. So like they're starting off that color. And so, inquiring minds would like to know, did it cross-pollinate with a squash? <laughs> um, because I do have my patty pan squash, which is that color, um, right beside my cucumbers. So did they cross-pollinate? Or are they just getting too big too fast? Or what? Because, like, it's not that I'm leaving them out um, to bake in the sun too long because I mean as you can see they're growing that color and that big because that wasn't even technically done growing and I'm just perplexed like did I create a new vegetable <laughs> am I a mad scientist mad gardener anyway inquiring minds so if you happen to know <laughs> what I've done to some of my cucumbers please leave me a comment um, and let me know because I have no idea. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.